In this tutorial, we will cover why belt cleaners are used on bulk handling conveyors, what general types of belt cleaners are available, how to calculate belt cleaner drag, and how to calculate the belt power required to overcome belt cleaner drag. Belt cleaners remove carryback from the underside of conveyor belts. As you can see in this illustration, we show the pulley. Let's say this is the discharge end of the conveyor. This illustrates the carrying strand of the belt, and this illustrates the return side of the belt. Typically, belt cleaners are put just below the horizontal center line on the face of the pulley or beneath the pulley. Carry bank is removed from the underside of conveyor belts to extend conveyor component life, especially that of idlers and belt, and to improve safety for plant personnel working near the belts. Without an effective belt cleaner, a bulk handling conveyor will drop fine material from the bottom of the return strand beneath the entire length of the conveyor. This carryback material will also accumulate beneath each return roller as shown here. If not removed, this accumulating material will eventually impinge on the return idlers and the belt and damage them. A variety of belt cleaners are available, from simple single mechanical scrapers, which are either spring-loaded or counterweighted, to more complicated multiple scrapers and brushes and belt washing systems. Belt scraper material may be anything from used conveyor belt, which is not recommended, to molded urethane to thin tungsten carbide blades. Some manufacturers offer broad blades, while others insist on the advantages of thin blades. When adding one or more cleaners to a bulk handling conveyor, how can a conveyor operator be certain to have enough power to drive the conveyor? The Conveyor Equipment Manufacturers Association Conveyor Design Manual states that belt cleaner drag may vary from 2 to 14 pounds per inch of scraper blade contact, depending upon the type of belt cleaner used, and recommends a drag value of 5 pounds per inch width of each blade of cleaner contact if an actual value is unknown. We can conservatively estimate belt cleaner drag by using 5 pounds per inch of width of belt rather than 5 pounds per inch of cleaner contact. For example, if we have a pulley which has two cleaners on it, using the same example as this, and we have the carrying strand coming in this direction and the return strand going in that direction, we could put a pre-cleaner here and we could put a secondary cleaner here. Let's say they are 24 inches wide each, but the belt is 30 inches wide. We can conservatively calculate the belt cleaner drag in this example as follows. Drag equals five pounds per inch of belt width times 30 inches of belt width times two belt cleaners or 300 pounds of belt cleaner drag. How do we calculate power required to overcome this drag. Continuing with this example, if we say that the conveyor belt has a belt speed of 300 feet per minute, we can calculate required power as follows. Power equals 300 pounds of drag times 300 feet per minute of belt speed or 90,000 foot-pounds per minute. How do we convert 90,000 foot-pounds per minute into a useful unit of measure? Well, we know that one horsepower equals 33,000 foot-pounds per minute. Therefore, in our example, our 90,000 foot-pounds per minute of belt cleaner uh, power divided by 33,000 gives us an answer of 2.7 horsepower. So 90,000 foot-pounds per minute can be converted into horsepower by dividing by 33,000. In this example, we need 2.7 horsepower to overcome belt cleaner drag. If these cleaners were added to a conveyor with a 10 horsepower drive system, then the extra drag would add 27% to the required power, which is significant. On the other hand, if they were added to a conveyor with a 300 horsepower drive system, the extra drag would be insignificant. We hope you found this short tutorial useful. For more tips on conveyor drive design and maintenance, go to RomecaCorp.com 
or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.